Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to show you how to remove and replace the AC compressor on a Volkswagen Jet or Golf 2.5 engine. Stay with us to see how to do that. Okay, so stay with us now. We have that Jetta, the AC is not working good. What you want to make sure first, you don't have any Freon in the system. And then you will need to remove the belt, the serpentine belt. In order to do that guys, what you need to do, if you have any engine covers, this one doesn't, you need to go ahead and remove them. And with a 15 millimeter range, that's the tensioner pulley right there from the bottom. You need to go clockwise and you relieve the, uh, the belt. Okay, you can see, release it like that and pull it out of the AC compressor right there. You don't need to pull the whole belt out unless you want to uh, replace it with a new one. And next we'll be working from the top. The hoses are actually located, you can see right here, one and the second one there. There with a T45, let me show you that star looking bit. Uh, in our case, we don't have a 45. We have a 40, the 45 we messed it up. Never do that, get the right two, but uh, we'll be able to take them off with a 40, most likely we've done in the past, but if you mess up the boats, uh, you're, you're in big trouble. So now you need to go ahead and uh, make sure that you get it on the boat there. Okay, I'm just holding it down there so we we can go ahead and pull the bolt out for one of the hoses. Okay, that's what it looks like. That's how long it is. You can look at the bolt here. And we have one more identical for the other uh, hoses. Well, we'll show you exactly where the, they're located once we pull the AC compressor out so you can see and, and you know. Okay, got it loose now so uh, we'll just go ahead and you can turn it by hand once you get them loose that's a good thing about them okay it's almost out and this is the second one identical like the first one so now uh, the hoses are free you can go ahead and uh, disconnect them there will be always a little bit of pressure so make sure you don't have your eyes there um, always wear protective gear Okay, one of them is out and we need to remove one more after that. Now you can see where the second one is. It's hard to get a good view here. It needs to go straight up in order to pull it out. Okay, we pulled the second one out. That's the second hose, the big one guys. So that's the compressor now, right here. Easy to access from the bottom. You cannot work on from the top on uh, from now on. And you need to go ahead and disconnect the wire for the clutch as well. Okay, you need to push that thing to the back until you hear the click and pull it out. Okay, just like that. Now we need to remove three bolts with a 14 millimeter socket. You see where they are and once we remove the compressor, I totally will show you exactly where everything is so you know what to expect because it's a uh, it's a little bit limited room that 2.5 it's pretty big engine so it doesn't have so much room to show you everything as we wish we could and usually those you get them loose and you can turn them by hand because uh, they go in aluminum bracket And uh, you can notice that leak right here, that's a common problem on those. We have the video on our channel guys, how to fix it. Uh, if it started leaking oil like that, oil leak, it's a common, common problem. So uh, check it out, it's on our channel. Hopefully it will save you some trouble and some money. Okay, removing that one now. Last one. Okay, now you can grab it and pull it. You need to pull it towards the front. If it's stuck, you need to just wiggle it a little bit and it will come out because there is aluminum 
uh, gliders there, okay. You will also need to remove the second belt uh, to the inner belt. So with that same 15 millimeter, if you go on that pulley down there and you go clockwise again, you let the belt go and you can pull it out that way. Okay, make sure you have the two belts off and once you do that, uh, that's the compressor right there coming out. You can see that's the one that doesn't work. So we'll be replacing it with another used one that we have here. Okay, you can see if you need any numbers. This one is a 2008 Jetta. Alright, so you can see where the bolts for the hoses are, one here and one there. And that's the one that usually gets stuck right here. And we have the three bolts that hold the compressor to the bracket one, two, three right there. So now you just go ahead, put it back together in reverse order that we took it apart. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a like.